What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you are having an amazing day and in today's video I am going to show you how you can root and install 12 custom recovery on your Redmi Note 7 Pro the Violet. Now while installing this thing I kind of find out some harsh realities about this thing that Xiaomi is actually just providing the features while blocking another things like they have provided camera API 2 and all the Wildman L1 supports and stuff but seriously as if right now you can't actually boot any kind of GSI a treble image on your Redmi Note 7 Pro cause the vendor is just completely broken and then again as I found out this phone is actually system as root so even though it's a system A only partition it actually takes GSI's which are AB yep cause in simpler words the system actually thinks that there is another portion well, the system is actually stored to be safer if the update goes wrong but seriously there is no another slot there is just one system and system as root which is kind of thing from android q i seriously don't know why xiaomi adapted it so early even in android pi but uh, it's kind of good thing to be honest but not good for us custom developers but this phone also uses a vb meta image in order to boot anything that means yep it has triple but xiaomi has officially blocked it from booting anything rather than official miui so yeah it can be bypassed but gss don't actually boot right now so with that said let's just get to the installation of twerp and root so first of all you will need an unlock bootloader of course it took me 15 days it will also take you 15 days in order to unlock the phone Again, as you can see, I'm on the latest update 10.2.7.0, which actually enabled the Netflix in full HD. I haven't actually checked it. You can check it yourself. I don't have a Prime account. And then again, yeah, it's basically your stock Android Pie. And now let's just root it. So first of all, just grab your PC and hop on it. Now, once you hop onto your PC, you have to just download these four files: the magics for root and modules, ADB folder to flash to up custom recovery and VB meta image. Now, if you don't already know what VB meta is, it's adaption by Google cause Google owns Android. They have all the features. Then again, OnePlus adapted it. Then some another companies adapted it. And now it's the turn for Xiaomi. Now, what it really does is from the company, you are not actually allowed to flash any kind of custom binaries for the system, vendor and boot. Now, these three things are needed in actually booting any kind of ROM, just these three things. And once you flash a custom VB meta image, it actually sets free system vendor and boot to just run anything. In theory, now it should actually boot a GSI, but Xiaomi just gave us a complete broken vendor and it just doesn't boot anything. So yeah, we have to just open the ADB folder first of all, open CMD, then type in fast boot devices. Once you type that in, just grab your phone and press power and volume down at the same time just like you did while unlocking your phone and also guys I do actually recommend to install to while unlocking your phone cause once you unlock the phone it's going to reset itself anyways and to isn't actually right now able to just decrypt MIUI Pi so in order to mount your storage inside the twerp and just use your phone normally you have to actually just reset it through the twerp so just reset it anyways so again fast boot mode just connect the phone to your PC just like that Hit enter, there you go, fast boot and random number. That means our DSS is successfully connected. Then in order to flash the VB meta, I will give you a command in the description on the top. You have to just copy it and right click it over here just like this and just give it a space in order to have all the commands separate. Just close this ADB folder and drag the VB meta just right here. Hit enter, there you go, successfully flashed. Now we can just load up anything. Then flash the actual top, which would be fast boot flash recovery then drag in the twerp hit enter there you go our custom recovery has been sent successfully then you don't have to actually boot your phone at all you have to directly go to the recovery in order to just install it so just press power and volume up at the same time let go once the mi logo is up or the redmi in your case yep it's now a complete redmi separate brand i just completely forgot that and then again my internal storage seems to be mounted over here let's just go to install nope it's actually encrypted so you have to actually just reset it over here by going to wipe format data type in yes over here now to up should be actually able to decrypt our data i still don't know once you boot it but you can of course try it for now then again you have to just go to this pc again redmi note 7 pro internal storage as you can see it's completely empty you have to just drag in magics over here you can always change various stuff and flash roms through here of course if you don't already know like going to the advanced you can reload the theme partition the sd card fix contest just right over here rather than going into the settings you can also adjust brightness and stuff which is not actually currently working well as you can see it's not even taking advantage of that notch and brightness is just uh, too low even on the 100 it's not doing just anything 
So just go to install Magix 19, confirm to flash. Now one of the reasons that Magix 19 is actually recommended in order to flash over here cause Magix 19 actually has support for Android Q and Android Q is system as root default and we also have system as root so again no issues at all over here our device has been successfully rooted and if you just go to mount over here mount system and vendor go to the file manager there you go you have a system folder a vendor folder and a system as root and system as root is practically empty but device thinks that there is another partition that the phone is actually storing its stuff which is completely weird but that's more technical stuff i won't dive into it but Let's just reboot our phone, reboot system, do not install and voila you have successfully rooted your Redmi Note 7 Pro with a custom recovery. Now wait till it boots. This might take not even a minute that Android Pie is just completely fast when it comes to the first boots. And our phone is now completely back up within a minute which is just amazing numbers for a 14k phone. But I will just now completely set up. And once the phone is done setting it up, you have to just scroll to the right or more apps and there should be Magix Manager. Yep, there you go. And the Magix Manager is having a new UI, yep, I completely forgot that the app has been updated but as you can see Magix Manager is up to date. You can also check for the safety net whether you can use uh, banking apps or not. And again as you can see it's just completely rooted, you can install like anything like you can go to the modules, you can add modules completely over here. You already get everything like camera API too but there are some good modules for performance and uh, RAM leak fixes or like. Uh, not don't use YouTube Vance but uh, seriously there are some much more greater scripts over here which you can always use and yeah guys that's pretty much it on how you can install top recovery on your Redmi Note 7 Pro and also root your phone. I hope you guys enjoyed if you want more videos on the Redmi Note 7 Pro which I would be putting out soon for sure please subscribe down there also follow me on Instagram for any kind of updates on the GSI thingy I will keep you guys posted over there and see you guys in the next one. Peace.